It's day two, idea day. Uh, first things first, I am here at McDonald's, as you can see, and uh, I'm gonna get some food, and then I gotta hit the gym. I'm heading to the gym now. This gym is amazing. Nobody is there. The gym is always empty. There is nobody here, okay? So all of these machines, they're just mine. Something else interesting yesterday I noticed is I have 902 YouTube subscribers somehow. I have no idea how this happened, but I'll take it. Sweet. All right, just got done with the gym. The idea today, a website, bananadelivery.com. Imagine you're at work and it's a hard day. You've really stressed out. You get home and you check the mail and there's a package there. You start thinking, I didn't order anything. What the hell is this? So you open it up and it's a banana, a plastic banana. That's it, that's the whole idea. Order a banana for your friend. Let's go make the website. I've made many, so this should be pretty easy. So let's get it done. First thing we need to do is check and see if bananadelivery.com is available. And in my case, yes, sweet. You do this at godaddy.com. You will also need to purchase hosting. I would recommend HostGator. So you've purchased the domain name and hosting. What's next? We need to change the name servers. This is where things get a little bit complicated. You can simply call HostGator and ask them what your name server is. Once you have your name servers, you can contact GoDaddy and they'll show you where to type those name servers in. If you've made it that far, I'm impressed. Most people just give up there. The next step is very tricky as well. You have to install WordPress. And the easiest way I can tell you how to do that is, again, call HostGator and they'll walk you through step-by-step -step through the cPanel on how to install WordPress. Once you are finished installing WordPress, the page should look like something like this. Nothing special. You will be able to access the back end of WordPress where you can install a theme. In my case, I'm going to use this Divi theme. After I've installed the Divi theme, I'm able to go ahead and manipulate the site to get it to look like exactly how I want it. Most people doing this tutorial are not going to be able to do it. They'll be able to buy the website name and the hosting. You will need a web designer to finish it up for you. The main reason is most people are not web designers. So this is a weird video today because yes, you can do it technically, but you're going to have to watch some tutorials at lynda.com, maybe like five hours worth of tutorials on how to use WordPress and then probably five hours on how to use Divi theme to go ahead and accomplish everything, which is going to take some time. You're looking at about like 10 hours worth of tutorials that you have to watch to just be able to know the basics. So again, a little bit misleading tutorial today, but all I, that's all I got today. All right, I'm gonna take a little quick break from making the website. See Independence Day 2. I hope it's a good movie. The first one was a badass. I'll let you know how it was. We just came from Independence Day. It's pretty cool. The website's finished. 